day that you have made, the day that you have called us unto yourself, the day that you have separated us, even at this leisure moment of rest, you have brought us to your presence. So Lord, may you bless us. Only through your spoken word, give entrance to life. So as we are about listening and reading and attending to your word, may your word heal us. May your word raise us. Let your word sharpen us and prepare us for victory in this life. Hear us for we pray in Jesus' name. Let me welcome us to this second day program. One thing I ask God about this program every year is God, would there be any rain in the evening? And if there is rain in all the evening, that your light would have been so good to us. And um, if you want to bring it, you will just loop it a little. So that light is okay. I think um, you can own it when it will be darker than this. I love it. So that wherever you are, I can see people's face. You can see one another and we can see the Bible properly. Thank you for empowering this house so much tonight. And <clears throat> I always ask God, it is a rainy season. And would you allow it to fall? You know, if there is any rain, people may not like to leave their homes because of rain. So like the one of yesterday, I was praying and I said, God, there shall be no rain. And God told me there shall be rain. <laughs> and so this evening, I was looking at the heavens and rain came. And within my spirit, I was convinced that this rain is a sign of blessing. And so whoever will stop away we we'll stop away from blessings of God. And for the mere fact that we've not allowed this rain to disturb us, I'm going to ask God that every evening from 4 p.m., if you and I can agree together, from 4 p.m., let there be no rain in this land in the next, in the next 28 days, and it can happen. This is not the first time or the second time. So just trust God that from 4 o'clock every evening there may be no rain. But this second day of this month let me try to get this veil from our eyes as long as we shall remain in this mountain of God, on this mountain of God. One thing about the embalmment period, one common phenomenon and one common thing that enemy grip us is fear of death. Fear of death. It's a park of young and bad. Of young and bad months, I say do. And bad months, I say do. In Nimpa, young posse, et cetera. And people begin to think and then confuse themselves, then forgetting that God, who created January, is the same God who, is, who created what? Member months. So uh, the, the veil of dying. They believe that you will die. 
in the month of in ember months is one of those things and uh, terrible things do happen in, during these four months of the year which is true but I want to let you know that it's not going to be the same this year it's not going to be the same this year if that has been happening to you this year it's not going to be the same and so I want to look at we want, I want you and myself to look at Fulfilling your days. Fulfilling your days. The principle for long life. You fulfill your days. God has days for you. You have days. You have it. Hallelujah. You have it. Can we read Psalm 90 verse 10? Psalm 90 verse 10. Right, thank you. The day, if you can look at, um, thank you, the the projector. Let me let me just those without Bible, you look at the projector. I'm looking at the projector so that I can look at your face very well. The days of our years are three score and three 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 scores years and ten. How many years? How many years? Three score and ten is how many? Seventy years. Seventy years. How many of us are seventy years? Thank you. Very few. Very few. Huh? Are you seventy years? I don't mean seventy days. I don't mean seventy weeks. I mean 70 years. So, <laughs> what is the lamb? Many things that we are talking of 70 months. <laughs> we are talking of 70 years. It's not a little. And so, um, and then that is 70 years. And if by reason of strength, they be four, four score years. That is how many? Eighty. Yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and they fly away. Yeah. The length of our days is 70 years, according to my own NIV. Or 80 if we have the strength. This is in the day of David. This is in the days of David. But you know, before David, if you go back a little into Genesis, Genesis the record, you will discover how live longer. They live longer than what you can think of. Body is the lamb. Body is the lamb of God. Yes. From Noah, from Noah, if you can, let me get vividly the area of that record of Noah. How old was Noah when he died? Wow. Genesis chapter, right? I was going to Genesis chapter 6, verse uh, 
My spirit will not contend with man forever, for he is mortal. His days would be 120 years for Noah. But that was not the only year Noah lived. That wasn't the year Noah lived. You, you will go back again in Genesis chapter 5 verse 13 verse 9 okay let's take it from there let's get it from there let's get it from verse 3 when Abraham had lived 130 years he had a son in his own likeness his own image and he named him Seth after Seth was born Abraham lived how many years 800 years can you see that how many years 800 years Adam lived I mean not Abraham Adam lived 800 years and had another son and daughter all together Adam lived how many years 930 years have you seen the mystery there how many years 930 years but why is it that we don't live and then he died. Now the son said, when Seth had lived 108 years, he became the father of Enoch. And after the, he became the father of Enoch, Seth lived 807 years and had other sons and daughters all together. Seth lived how many years? 912. And then he died. Have you seen the mystery in the scripture telling you days and years when men on earth live? The Bible is true. It's not exaggeration. Then come again. When Canaan had, had lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalele, Mahalali. And after he became the father of Mahalali, Canaan, Canaan lived 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Canaan lived 910 years. And then he did what? He died. And look at God. Just continue like that. You will see verses that talks about that. how many people. Then you come again. To verse 22, and after he had become the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked with God 300 years and had another son called daughter. Altogether, Enoch lived 360 years short. Now, now you come up again, not that Enoch walked with God, then he was no more because God took him away. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. And after he became the father of Lamech, Methuselah lived 783, 82 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Methuselah lived 969 years and then he died. Now, where am I going to this? Now, return again. Return again. When Lamech had lived 180, 80, 82 years, he had a son. You know, up to 182 years, people were still productive. Hello? Are you hearing me? 100 and what? 82 people were still at the productive, reproductive stage. People were still functional. They did not have erectile dysfunction. They didn't. They were still producing children, sons and daughters. And he had son. He named him Noah and said he will comfort us in the labor and painful toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord had caused. After Noah had, was born, Lamech lived 500 and 95 years and had 
other sons and daughters. All together, Lamech lived 777 years. And then he died. After Noah had lived 500 years, hmm, he became the father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And you know, during this time, this is the time now Noah was actively preparing the ark. So, in this life, God gave people long days, years to live. And so, in a time, and he grew up like that and like that and like that until another record of how people survive and live. David was the next person, the only person that was trying to put on. Why? Because of what he passed through. The length of our days is 70 years of, or 80 if we have the strength. As at that time, as the days of David, war, war, hatred, hard labor, a person like David, what he passed through in the hands of Saul, sleeping in the cave, running for his life, and this thing shorten life. This thing make life very, very unbearable. The toil of life. Hard reading, hard studies, family pressures, hatred within and without. Shorten the lifespan. And yet, God gives us fulfilling days. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, <clears throat> open with me to Gen Men, Psalm 91, verse. I'm going to be brief so that I show you what I want. Psalm 91, verse 16. Psalm 91, verse 16. Can you project it? Verse 16. With long life, would I do what? Satisfy him and show him my what? Salvation. With long life. Long life. Hallelujah. You see, there was a time people when people celebrate people at 70 and people would say oh he's going to die he's going to die Friday last week today is a week when we celebrated somebody at the age of um, 86 in this house and he was telling me Papa Mbang, he was telling me after this don't bring this celebration again. Each time you talk about birthday celebration, I become ill. I become sick. I don't know. Don't bring it anymore. And now uh, it occurred to my it occurred to me. Is it true that celebration do bring sickness or death or hatred or whatever to people? Is that? But we told him. No, Papa, you won't go. You won't die. But all this time, you've been talking of dying, dying. I have, I have finished everything. I want to die. I want to go. And we tell him, no, you won't go. You won't die. And you know, his, his own idea and everything is that he has reached this age and so he, he should die. And this thing landed him in the hospital. As we are sitting down here this morning, Papa Mbang called me. We went to see him yesterday. This morning he called me. I said, Coco, this is what I want to eat. I want to eat this. I want to eat that. And actually, doctor has diagnosed what is wrong with me. Please, I want to eat this. I want to eat this. I'm not going to anywhere. I will leave. Then I will leave. At 
86. Then I will leave. And so you at 60 something and you are thinking of death. You are dreaming of death. You are singing death song. You are fighting, struggling to how to survive. God says, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life, God says he will satisfy you. So, if you are 70, if you are 80, is that long life? 70, you are beginning. And when I was trying to expose this part of the story about our life, one of my un my cousin told me, say, yes, so uncle, it is true. When my father was 85 years, that, that was when I was born. He said, look at me. I'm a photocopy, a photocopy of my father, not from another blood. I'm not from another blood per se, because the people would say, oh, the mother went in with another born, another man. I am a photocopy of my father. NDA, um, DNA says I am. Because when he grew up, there was that contention. That is not from the family. The father was 80, I mean 70, 75 when he was born. And the boy, the, the young man had money and went in. Collected the blood of his brother, other younger senior brothers. And he went in. And they satisfy that is the proper son of the father at 75. So let me remove that veil of death from your eye that you will not die. You will live. You are not yet to the age of dying because the Bible says he will satisfy me with long life and show me his salvation. What does he mean by salvation? That anything that want to hinder me, anything that want to hold me back, the salvations of the Lord when he comes to me, I would have my deliverance. I would have my healing. I would have my rescue. He will show me with long life. He will satisfy Hmm? Satis satisfaction means that you won't lack anything. That is the point that I want to inject into our spirit. If somebody tells you you are going to die, tell that person, no, I'm not dying. I am not dying. Now, how then would you live according to the scripture with long life I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. One. Put it down. One. Psalm 91. 91 verse 1. Are you there with me? Psalm 91 verse 1. What? One. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the law of God Almighty. According to, of, will, dwell, will rest in the shadows of Almighty. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. Shelter of the Most High means what? Shelter of the Most High means what? means this many people don't know how to dwell in the shelter of the most high dwelling in the shelters of the most high is where we are where we are where you are once you pick up the bible to read you are under the shadow because every moment of your life in prayers, in meditation of the word of God, you are going closer to your maker. 
you are going closer, you are under the canopy, and you are dwelling on his shelter. He is with you, always communication. I don't know. I think I said it here sometimes. I don't know whether here or somewhere. There was a year that I was so much involved in the work of God, really. Let me tell you. I had a program here and there and there and there across the nation and elsewhere. And I had no time for myself. After the after the that night, the, the end of the year, watch night, I finished preaching. Around one, two, three, I had the revelation where a record was open. A record was open. A record was open. And I stood before a mighty man. That man was so mighty. It's what he put on was so wide, so bright. And I could not face him. And I was trying to say, this man, why should I be standing here up to this time? What kind of a book are you opening? And you are keeping me to stand. And at the end of it, I saw him, he now took a big ride on that record and present to me and told me you are all that you were doing throughout the year I give you rights I give you rights and then I woke up I was very happy the joy of the Lord filled my heart the strength of saving him filled my heart. The music of saving him filled my heart. I had new song. I had new aspiration of saving him. Why? Because I dwell in the shelter of the Most High. Because every moment somebody came this afternoon to tell me that the Lord told him to collect or to collect or collect my sermon book. That they want to compile my sermon and anything about me. I said, wow. Then begin to collect whatever message that is going on during this 30 days program. And I'm going to minister Somebody in Igbo land did it. And then you have it. And that pushed me. When I went back to my room, I opened one of the book, um, one of the containers which I put my jotters. And I started to remove it. Because in all that I do, as a sermon, as a teaching, at Bible study, I would spend time to do research. Open my Bible. Internet. I go into internet to collect information. I must prepare myself. And so under the under I dwell in the shelter of the most high. And that is where your days are being extended, free from sickness. Free from worries. Free from fears. Wadi is a lamb. Wadi is a lamb. So, one thing that you prolong your life on earth is when you involve in the word of God, you study the word of God. When you key into the word of God, it gives you divine strength and divine air. Hallelujah. Gen John chapter 6, verse 49 to verse 50. John chapter 6, 49 to 50. John chapter 6, 
49 to 50. John. It says what? You are for my own Bible says, not your fathers. I know your fathers can go back, but my own fashion says, your forefathers ate the manna in the desert, yet they died. Verse 50 say what? But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which man eats and not die. Hallelujah. And he said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. Hallelujah. Are you with me, beloved? This bread is my flesh, which I give you for the life of the world. Two things. I am the bread of life. If you eat in me, and you do sometimes, like, the second part of it is eating my bread. This, this bread is my flesh. What is he talking about? The holy communion we have been talking. We have been taking. The bread we have been taking. The wine. We have this symbol that symbolizes the blood of Jesus. The bread that symbolizes the body of Jesus. Which you take. Prolong your life. Prolong your life. Bring healing to you. I have seen out to the not I have seen till to this time. I went to pray for a, my, a member still today. She can't walk, the husband can't walk. And these are medical personnel. And I went to see them at home. And do you know what survived these people? Every morning. They have made themselves to become ministers, servants of God over their life. After their morning prayers, two of them in the house. The wife who can walk will go to the table which they have set. And then she will take the bread and the wine and the bread and the minister and they eat. So the day I went to them, I tried to introduce feeding their life with the word of God and the Holy Communion every day. And they look at the wife, look at the husband, the husband look at the wife. He said, oh, your grace, that table is my Holy Communion table. They set it at the back corner of the, their parlor. And I went and saw it. They went and saw it. They have faith. They believe. They are trust. Give them inner strength to live. Give them hope of next day. If you see them, you won't believe that these people would see tomorrow. And when you come to the table, Holy Communion table, to eat the bread, to drink wine, and you think that it's nothing. Friend, the Bible says, what well, this bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Hallelujah. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. If anyone eat of this bread, it would live forever. You will live here and forever. That is your soul, your spirit is eternal. It's eternal. You begin to enjoy eternal life here. Amen. Do you understand me? God has given you eternal life here and after. You live forever. So forget about dying this and by month. Forget about you are going to be buried in December month. Whatever somebody was trying to do with you concerning your life, I want to declare that you will not die. Yeah. Two, as long as you are living, 
you dwells in the shelter of the Most High. You will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. As long as you sit down to study the Word of God, to read the Word of God, and to pray, friend, forget about whatever the enemy wants to do. But let me just make this clear to us. Sometimes we always attribute everything coming to us from Satan, from man. And I've been telling people in my program, in my life, in my service, I don't waste time to rebuke Satan. He cuts you out. He cuts you out. For where? Have you them finished? Let's study the word of God. Satan will not have a portion in your congregation. Study the word of God. Prayer and praise. It will bring the glory of the Lord down. Satan will be afraid, will be far away. You'll be far away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then sometimes some ministers and some leaders are always very, very annoyed and aggressive when people pray. Even I learned that in some churches and somewhere, not only here. Some women are fond of blowing whistle in the church. Beep, 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 beep. And they say, stop that. Don't stop it. And then some, you see some women coming to the church with trumpet. And when they, somebody will say, don't blow it. Blow. Blow. Anywhere you can praise your God, praise. Anyhow you can dance, dance. If you know what it stands for in your life. Do it. Anyhow you can give in the house of the Lord, give. Anyhow you can sweep the house of the Lord, sweep. That is where God will satisfy you with long days. And then your own salvation. He will show you his salvation. Don't let anybody to lead you astray. If you can leave your house to sleep in the church of God, sleep. <laughs> I was sent down, I told members of the prayer band here, yeah, I was sent to a church and um, the man's where I supposed to sleep was occupied by evangelists. What is the lamb? Was occupied by the evangelists. And um, it was a rainy season like this. And that evangelist had serious, do we have uh, acute um, asthma? What do you call it? Ad acute asthma. I think I'm correct medical term. That is the asthma that has is non-stop. Wherever if if he, if it remain it remains in this sound, you stand outside and hear him. Hello, <laughs> plane, but it was not. It was faster than 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 jet fighter. I heard something like that from far distance. Mm, he was flying toward the church and when he came to the church he landed on the roof bam a little while bam on the ceiling a little while and then God opened my eyes and somebody descended a human being descended tap, and started walking God opened my eyes the table and he sat down. Another second, another one flew in. Another second, another one flew in. When you sleep in your house, I would reveal all this into you before these 30 days. 
so that you, the veil will be opened from your eyes. When you hear in your house, boom, don't sleep. Boy, and the ceiling, don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> don't sleep. The oppressor is around. If God can open your ear to hear boy from the ceiling, it's not an ordinary. It's not. I'm telling you in the spiritual realm what is happening. Why? They walk down. Having their meeting. They were about having their meeting. One of them said it. Inside the, I mean, I was in the first week. One of them said it. He said, no, somebody is in this house. Somebody is in here. Somebody is here. Hallelujah. And somebody is here. They said, no, let's go on. He said, somebody is here. And immediately, in the first, you know, the door, the wooden door. Well, I already bowled it. I don't know whether I bowled it, but I knew. The window, the wooden window of the church. And they went and picked the lantern, which, the bush lantern that was on top of the altar table. They on it. They raised it on. And they were going around from one pew after another looking for who he in the church. They look around. They did not see anybody. He said, nobody. The other one called them. Let's start the meeting. They know there is somebody in this house. I perceive it. Somebody said, I perceive it. And they say, You know, they left the hall. They now went round, surround the church, one end after another. They did not see anybody. Now, when they approached the first tree where I was, they would the two window, this one and this one, and they were peeping their ear. And as I then, I did not breathe again. I did not breathe again. I waited to hear and to see what they were doing. And they stood there because I was dwelling under the shelter of the most high. I had peace. I'm not, I'm not telling you what somebody tells me. I'm telling you my life experience in the vineyard of God. I want you to dwell under the shadow of God Almighty. You have rest. You have long life. And so they left it. They did not see me. They did not hear me. They did not. They came down to the table where they were. They went, they went inside the church. And they said, no, there is somebody in this church that they will not go in with this meeting anymore. And they said it. In a twinkle of an eye, I heard somebody, something. Fiai. 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 Seven of them were for that meeting. And they could not hold the meeting that night. I slept off in the morning. As early at 5.30. Morning prayer. Two women who came to the morning prayer that morning. And I came out from the first street. And they were, they sat down like this. The other one. I said, 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 I As I was coming out from there, as I stepped in, as I stepped out, as I stepped out, I heard them. He said, Panic call. Man, the Oku won mommy perform. He did a panic call. And for one week, which I went to that church for a program, 
after that morning, to Tunyong, I did not recognize those women. They did not come for the church again. And that's all. In the church of God. In the church. Long life will come when you dwell under the shadow of God Almighty. You have long life. No fashion, no weapon, fashion against you shall prosper. Yeah. Every tongue that will rise against you in judgment shall not condemn you because this is the heritage, heritage, and it is your heritage, it is your heritage. It will, will so with long life would I so. Would I satisfy him and show him my salvation once you dwell in the shelter of the Most High God? Not only dwelling in the shelter of the Most High God, you feed yourself with the word of God. You live long. You live long. Your long life is guaranteed. Hallelujah. You know why? We don't feel happy and relieved. Is that we lack the word of God in our life. We lack the word of God in our life. It gives you strength. The word of God gives you strength. The word of God is the, the, the product of wisdom and understanding and good health. Is the word of God in your life. According to Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 and verse verse 7 to verse 10 dwelling in the secret place that is in God's presence a secret place is God's presence God's presence and in the morning when these women left the church I went to see the evangelist and the evangelist was throughout the whole night when these people were in operation in the church he was oh Oh, and I went to him in the morning and said, ah, Evangelist. 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 And you don't have to do my men, you don't have to do my boy, you don't have to Evangelist. Evangelist. And you can't make me this in the way for. Spend time to minister to him and to pray for him. I will mention the church. Oh. I will all get me this one in Mokobi. Another place. Another place. My house was just behind the church. And one night, nobody in the church. But there was that beating, that drum. They were drumming in the church. They were drumming. Drum. See the old drum in the church. Drum. And I woke up and I heard the sound. I said, ah. And I went out. I went out. Went to the church. And opened the door of the church. The music ceased. I said, uh -huh. <laughs> Ebanto. And before I entered that church, first day, second day, third day, God told me, You are in the Air Force field. You are in the Air Force field. Because if I go to any environment, if I go to any church, I will ask God, where am I? Show me. I know this place. I know. I know. You are in the Air Force field. And I said, Air Force field. 
Air Force more go care with you. Air Force more go care Lagos. Ah, Calabar in any Air Force um, base. Which one is this one? Me, I didn't know. Okay, Air Force. <laughs> what is the lamb? What is the lamb of God? And I went in. I went out. Trying to uh, uh, know what was going on. And behold, man turned. What okay, this door. I mean, could move go came and can't go get down to the same in the young card. I mean, could move in my naked eyes in the church of God. You don't see when they are running away. And I stood there and I told them, Any day you come back to the church for your meeting, a fruit you may you could be you move for you, you move for ready, come back. The whole world will know who you are. Because I'm dwelling. I'm dwelling in the shelter of the Most High. And so will rest in the shadow of Almighty. When you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, your life will be prolonged. Amen. You have a prolonged life. You live to fulfill your days. You must live to fulfill your days. About saying you're a miss or woman of you. Either go go. Either go go. Hallelujah. Either go go. The abasi. Continue to dwell, live, and study the word of God. And you will live long. Long life was meant for us. Hallelujah. And so don't destroy yourself. You know how we destroyed ourselves? Let's read those here. 39. Hosea 39. You open it? You open? Okay. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine head. Hallelujah. Don't destroy yourself. It is only in God that you have help. Your help is in God. Hallelujah. 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 How do you destroy yourself? Which we say. We destroyed ourselves with tongue. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Can somebody put on, put it on, put it on? Numbers 18, 28. I'm going to stop. The veil of ignorance must be removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you put it on? Death and life are the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat their fruit thereof. Death and life. Mm. Mm. Amen. 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 You are inviting death. 
That is how we destroyed ourselves. We accept negative things and we confess them. Don't confess negative things to yourself. Don't confess, don't confess negative things to your child. That your child. I don't follow all to try my mind again. Me, mess in any. No, please use that same tongue. Accept him back and pray for him. Pray for her. I was told this afternoon in my office, some boy, the family came to me. Do you know a lady went, was preparing archive, archive, a cobble, a cobble. Let's take this roof of Yebe. A kaiso. A cobong window. A maca cobom and didn't yet you call for a diareca. A bemi. A cobura diareca. I tell you, diareca. Same with Mickey Monkin or Panoka. I don't want to marry him again. A diareca. I bet they are. Why do you do this? Why didn't you come to me? And you know, one day, the second day, the third day, the husband just died. Died. First day, second day, the third day, having obtained later paper of divorce. The husband died. And he's now sat up. To fight with the sisters and the brothers. And they are telling her Oh, so why in a can be more to feed? So, missing a neck and dog in the physical, I don't worry. May it never happen to any one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Pussin, pussin, a woke who went pussin. You don't know what the enemy is aiming at doing. He can use your tongue, he can use your eyes, he can use that moment and finish with you. Don't want me saying, it ain't what I It a Kenya. It a Kenya. It a Kenya. Long life is for you. Long life is for you. Embamon is not a mon, the end of your life. Embamon will come and pass. And you will see another embamon. You will enjoy embamon. You will enjoy embamon. And after a week, the death of this brother, this man, the brother who was who was so close to the boy to the brother the junior brother the last brother was very close to him and in a motor accident and they said wow how can we bury two people two great men in the family within a month and they ran around seeking the face of God then in Atarabo, and they dwell under the shelter of the Most High God, and that was when God removed the veil of death from the entire family. May it be so in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Forget about you will not die. You will not die, but you will live. To fulfill your days. Death is not for you. You won't die. In Je Je uh, Isaiah that verse 28. 
Isaiah that verse 28 that 25 25 verse 8 that he it would swallow up death forever than ever the Lord will swallow up death forever and ever in Isaiah chapter 28 verse 18 look at it your covenant with death would be annoyed hmm? your covenant the covenant whether you make it knowingly or knowingly you know Tom in Coco could be called in the military regime um, and they will and they will about not a bacha but bank the annoyment of the election once that word annoy I get here I get look there it was just two years ago Kenyan then care federal government Nigeria might get the uncle be a lucky win election the annoyment at that it didn't know yeah the title as the head of state Anything, any power of death, any covenant, them you can have the bank if you get the pan sec. Annoy. Annoy. Quote these portions of the Bible when you want to pray. When you have bad dreams of death, when you have bad dreams of accident, when you have bad dreams of bad dreams of miscarriage, when you have it, open the word of God. Where there is life, annoy it, you will not die. Your agreement with the grave will not stand. Anybody that make agreement with the grave for you, that is on me, go back to your home. There will be a day when we will bless the sun from your home. We will pray for it, we will pray. You will bring the son of your family land where you come from. Go and bring it. Get all get the book feed with the book of Fikuyen. You will need to fulfill your age. And yet can did that 70 years. Begin to think of another 70 years if Jesus started to come. Hallelujah. I told my wife, I told my family, I told everybody. I will live 95 years. 95 years. In good health. I have stated, I have told God. So, okay, for you, you will need arm in a lie. You get 95. At the same poison, you know, me, you don't have a man, I mean, agreement, covenant of life. No more sin, no idem food. And walk toward that. I walk toward living 95 years since Jesus started to come. How many years have you brought a sign for your life? 95, and I will live toward that. I go more to you, Nick Pam Pong. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tomorrow I'm going on. How you can live and fulfill your life. Tomorrow I'm going to tell you about angelic profession. Angelic profession. How angel can keep you to fulfill your life. The scripture we will read. So be here every day. For this one week, I want to debunk and remove that fear, that intimidation, that knowledge of death from you so that you can go and sleep peacefully. Forget about Mpa. Udu Pa. It will be out here for them. Pa Nyapa. You know, I said it here. I was so disturbed, I was so worried, I was so sick, and uh, I said, ah, what is wrong with me? One might say, go and meet doctor, you need good uh, professor, my see what here. I mean, mm. immediately, 
doctor professor eh Chris Ekpe yan wo ro mi te yen doctor o ye di for e bofo ye di for e bofo that was around february or march you know you on ka for e bofo se mo nke ti eye yen o de on to ngo created we say ro ro yan i'm telling you ro ro yan They don't mean no more me. I say me me. I tell you, your grace. You say you are sick. Go and rest. You are not sick. You are not sick. Because I dwell, I am dwelling under the shadow of God Almighty, and my angel is making provision for me. The angel. is going before me the angel is standing by my side the angel is on top of me in my house the angel i at my door post the angel are inside my car forget about that you will live long i say you will live long when we rise up I have a confidence I have a confidence that Jesus will see me through Hallelujah no matter what the devil may do No I have a confidence I have a confidence Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to do something. Just change your position. Ch- come out from wherever you are. Change. Get out from that seat. Get out from that position. Nyeni tie da so anada. Nyeni tie da. Leave leave your seat. Die there friend. You know what you are coming out. You are coming out from the realm of death. You are coming out from the pit of death. Amen. You are coming out from the shadow of death. Amen. Where you will not fear. Amen. You are coming out from the seat of darkness. Amen. You are coming out from the dungeon. From the seat of condemnation. But the Bible says there's no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus because the spirit of God has set them free from fear and sin. You are coming out. Amen. No, you are coming out from death. Amen. The word of God. The my pan pipe ibre if you can tap ibre 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 okukura that yam po ye mo awon won mo ye mo and then me me ye mo that is you are closer to death from today that dream that situation that position is cancelled 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 is annulled in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth lift up your hand just your right hand ko pa on ton so wo bon de fo bon ko mon e je kenya ma de ni bon yen bon mi ma yen pon but i want to tell you we join you to pray just lift up your hands say from today from today from today i shall not die i shall not die according to human prescription according to human standard according to human covenant according to agreement with death the your word say i shall not die and i shall live 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Bon akamodo. Bon akamodo nte mama. Aba sini pa mpa ubo wo. Aba sini pa mpa una na kemini. Ni pa ni pa. Mpa uso le mana. Mpa ubo ne mana. Mpa ubo ne te. Mpa ubo ne kami. Ni pa. Ni pa mpa ni pa. Ni pa o aba simbo. Nda kiso fonti mo basi. Nda koto fonti mo basi. Ni pa mpa uwo uwo. Ni pa mpa ni pa ni pa. I mean, you do well. You do well. Take off for ten days. I'm a see you me. You want me? You want me? You want me? me? You want me? Show me your salvation. Show me your salvation. Show me your salvation. Show me your salvation. In the name of Jesus God, I shall not die. I shall not die. I and my family, we shall live. We shall be wonders. I am my children. We shall be wonders in Israel, in a Bible. I shall not die. Lord, 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 I shall not die. Oh, Lord, preserve me. Set me free. Set me free. Set me free from the hands of death, from spirit of death. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Pray that prayer. 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 Pray. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You will not die. Amen. You will not die. Amen. Die for me. Go we call about The word of God says, God, you say you will satisfy me with long, with long life. life and show me your salvation. Lord, I enter into that covenant. Satisfy me with long life. Satisfy my family with long life. Satisfy me. Aba sizuwa mi ya nyanu wem. Aba sizuwa mi ya nyanu wem. Aba sizuwa ibe mi ya nyanu wem. Aba sizuwa ni tobi ya nyanu wem. Aba sizuwa ngwan mi ya nyanu wem. Aba sizuwa ni ya nyanu wem. Yuwa mi ya nyanu wem. A nyanu wem o. A nyanu wem o. A nyanu wem. Yes, a nyanu wem. A nyanu wem kendom. Oh, hallelujah. I know him. I know him. I know him. I know him. 
Abasi, Yeri Yamafo, Unieri Yamafo, Okuna, you women, you Unieri Yamafo. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Dorabasi, se wumio, abasi se temio, abasi se yemio, abasi yiri panse, abasi yiri pan panse. O sore maniri men kenye, o bone maniri dia anye, o zuto miri dia anye. Se akana na madwe, abasi darada. Go to your family house. Are you hearing me? When he saved you, he would use you to save the entire family. Don't doubt for a man. Go to your family house. Go in the spirit. This embalmon, this embalmon, this embalmon. Mpa udu kwe wu bum. Ufori moidi pa mpa. Imoidi bu kete. Imoidi rubu keka. Imoidi bu keyen. Mpa iri da ukara. Imoidi bu keyen eka. Imoidi bu keyen ete. Mpa spirit mpa. Imisio fi kufori imisimfi. Imisimfi by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of Holy Ghost, the fire of Holy Ghost, fire of Holy Ghost, the fire of Holy Ghost, the fire of Holy Ghost, the fire of Holy Ghost, consume power of death, consume spirit of death. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah! It shall not take place, it shall not take place, it shall not happen. Bon Kamado, Bon Kamado, decree, decree to your family. You will not die. You shall 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 not die. Oh, you shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. 
Yes, you will not die. You will not die, bro. Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. I want you to join in my prayers. You will agree with me. You will echo in agreement. Amen. Whatever I would say, we join in corporate faith, in spirit, in the presence of God, in the name of Jesus. And I want you to join with me. I want you to share with me. I want you to go with me in that same spirit. And I know heaven would honor the prayers of the faithful. And I know the power of death shall be swallowed. Amen. Power of the grave shall be swallowed. Amen. The hands of death shall be broken. Amen. The spirit of death shall be revoked over your life. Amen. I revoke every spirit of death. Amen. In the dream world. Amen. In the spiritual realm. Amen. Over your life over the life of your family Amen. ancestral death Amen. spirit of death Amen. power of death Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Father your word says you will satisfy us with long life Amen. and you will show us your salvation Amen. it is not my spoken word Lord it is your spoken word and we ask that Lord you satisfy every one of us Standing in this house with long life, Amen. long life, Amen. long life, a long life Amen. of hundred, above hundred, in good health, Amen. sound mind, Amen. without blindness, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. with strength, Amen. with strength, Amen. with joy, Amen. with gladness, Amen. with victory. Amen. Victory in the dream world, victory in the physical, victory in the night, victory in the day, victory when we go out, victory when we come in, victory in the air, victory in the sea, victory in the dream, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, this night I stand as your anointed servant over the light here in this house by the sound of my voice lord i go in into their family altar lord i go in into their family temple lord i go in into open grace lord i go in into open sepulcher i go in into where the poor libation i go in into where incantation was made i go in 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 you. I release you. You are released. You. I release your spirit. I release your soul. I release your spirit. I release your mind. I release your in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I declare, according to the scripture, you shall not die, but you will live. Seek you will do so. It is worth it. Siki wo do ka ili wo kefi Sisi wo ro wo ko ti o men ba mo ni ili wo kefi In the name of Jesus Every arrow of death that fly from your ancestral house Every arrow of death Every weapon of death over your life 
shall not prosper. 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 By accident, shall not prosper. By strange bullet, shall not prosper. By kidnapping, shall not prosper. By eye assassin, shall not prosper. By poisoning, shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus. I lose you from spirit of death. I lose your spirit. I lose you. In that part of the tree, don't let go of you. Young thing, no fear. I for spirit my pan pipe. Seek it to death here, dear man. My then you see so strong, so dazzling. You swan no fear. No, he can't be set dazzling. He can't be set dazzling. He can't be set dazzling. Let's separate you. Jesus Christ. A cord or yente one or cord or yente be a king and yamanye no fee and ye could woman could ye could move for the anaye or tongue of the country. Return back to sender. Return back to sender. I return you back to sender. By fire, the door by fire, 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 in the name of Jesus. I cover all of you with the blood of Jesus. I cover every son and daughter of God by the blood of Jesus. And I say that the blood of Jesus speak life over you. Speak life over your family. Speak life over your spirit. Speak life over your husband. Speak life over your wife. Speak life over your children. Speak life over you. Speak life. Speak victory. Speak good health. Speak long life. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you because you have heard us. Can you just lift up your hands, begin to thank him. Say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can go back to your house. Tomorrow, I will take two topics still on fulfillment of your life. Then we march on Monday. We will now go into dealing on spiritual reign. From Monday, I want to re let you know things about what happened in the spiritual reign. Not to be ignorant of what to pray in the spiritual reign. And it's going to be dangerous. And it's going to be dangerous when we are going into the spiritual reign. Eke Kenya ne dejen, amu me jene de tem ke to osi mungu ya kawaranga, because they are there is going to be casualty. The enemy will never be happy. And I want to tell you, in a day like this, somewhere, when this kind of exposition was going on, and it was just wonderful, a child stepped down from outside staircase outside the church. And the other staircase in them. Just as high as this. I did walk the third floor of the church. And the girl died there. The child of four years old died. And there was welling in the church in a program like this. There was welling Every, every man and woman, young people, a quiet, a semi, and the woman became, the mother became mad. And what made her to be mad was that the husband traveled out abroad and told her, don't go out from this house with my children. Nobody should not go out. 
And so he was coming to the presence of the Lord. He didn't go out. She didn't go out. And so when this thing happened to the child, and he threw you a bear, and he had that. And as I was ministering like this, I saw carrying a dead corpse, dead body. He saw me care altar, say, Jesus, what is wrong? And I touched the boy, the girl, I'm a Abba. I'm a Abba. And so you allow me to touch her. Ah, the house, every the program was no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so when they gave me room, I was not only touching this girl, I touched the little girl. And I pray, Lord, if you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you brought me to this environment so that Bakun could boot raise this girl from dead. Ada. Ada, Ada. The house was quiet like this. It was awful experience. It was awful experience. And for me, it was also awful. And I look at the presence of God. And the house of God was filled with the glory of the Lord. The house of God was filled with fear. He didn't believe. And I called two people, the steward of the church, just get your car, get this girl to a doctor. He could doctor, one of our doctors, the cleaning him in a car. He came in a car. Doctor can say the message says, there is nothing happened to this child. Take her back. And he turned up him and this girl in the program. And he sat there in the program. You know, when we knew that actually something happened to this girl, was the following evening when they brought this girl back to the church. There, from here, this part of the eye, the body, and the reddish. Egypt, I'm a bogo, them. Egypt, I'm a bogo, them. Near Kabade, a good. I pray on Egypt. And we have a man called Yebubidem. And the common yedi no importance. And people look at this chain. Yedi no yedi on the panic. There it was damaged. But do you know? Apart from paracetamol, doctor can order. In your country, we have a Egypt. I mean, part of the body, we have a Egypt everywhere. And the girl is alive to today. So, so, from Monday, we are going into the spiritual realm. We are going to expose the work of darkness. We are going to expose the work of that. What is happening in the spiritual realm? What suppress people? What make people not to become what they're supposed to become in life? But tomorrow I will run up, fulfilling my life, my my days. And I want you to bring your family, members of your family, so that we come and make agreement. A day we bad, day we ta, you in a agreement. A day you go for for, you need to for you be for, you look for you man for. We will go into family agreement. And that we will stand on behalf of our family to declare and agree that nobody will die in that family from this September to September next year. Amen. And you will not bury. Amen. So bring members. I'm not telling you to do what you don't want to do, but I want you to do what you will do. So men, so thank me to for thank you for thank you for thank Men were already. Who's who sang it? Who sang it? You were. 
not you alone. This program is not meant for methods. It's meant for any person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is for family, family agreement. Covenant. We enter into covenant of life with members of our family. Every year we enter and we agree and the blood of Jesus will cover us and cover you and then you will go. Because of your life. You don't know that. So what can you talk about the keyboard for your activity after the covenant? You will be for a year to a year. We for you fan for your talk or you fan for keyboard for because you will be higher than them and they will be behind you. It's a spiritual matter. I didn't know that you know after you get one degree book. I mean, I want you to speak the word of speak through the hearing of the word of God. And that is my ministry. It's just purely the word of God and prayer. And that's all. That's all. There's power in the word. There's power in prayer. There's power in holy life. There's power when children of God come together. So the entire land of Uyu, these 30 days, is in trouble. God bless you.